you guys were checking out Karim Regan's drums. This is part of the play series by Native Instruments and it is great. So let me show you what's inside. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can. So you're not wasting any time and we will do like a preset demo at the end of this video. Let's get started. So we have four pages. This is the main page. Then we have the kit page where we can dive into the placement of the instruments and some sound design. Then we have the patterns, which you can also drag and drop into your own doll, your own session. Then we have the effects. Here you can find three different tabs. So first of all, we have the global effects. We also have insert effects that you can find uh, for each of the different instruments. For example, you will have insert effects for the kick, the snare, for the cymbals separately. And finally, we have send effects that each of those instruments can send. So it's pretty easy. And once you get into that, you'll find it very useful. And next we have the macros and you can see the assignment. So on the bottom, you can see the uh, high pass filter, low pass filter, reverb, and so on. And you can see the same on the top right here. So if I'll click this uh, high pass filter, then I'll see exactly what it does. And we'll see how to program that. Right. And finally, we also have this preset browser. So not a lot of presets, but they are very, very good. And they will give you a starting point to, to get your own patterns. Now let's go back to the main view. And here again, we have all these instruments. You can play them yourself, right? You can program your own MIDI, or maybe you already have some MIDI for your drums and you can use this as it is. Next, we have the kit. So here you see the particular kit that was loaded with this preset. And for each of the pads, starting from C1, you will see the instrument. So this is a kick. Now you can replace the underlying sample. You can actually do whatever you want here. And let, let me show you how it works. So I'm going to click this title right here. And now on the top here, we have the different instruments. So this is a kick, but I can definitely go and say, okay, you will be a bass. And now I have five options for bass. And that's very easy. So now double click and our C1 becomes a bass. Right, and let's get it back into kick. So I'm gonna just click this title here and select the kick category. Go with the first one and that, that's pretty much what you need to do. You can click the X, close that. And next, of course, you have all kinds of things uh, that you can do here. So you have the main level, you have room, spring, sub, all kinds of different effects that you can apply here. And again, we have the insert effects right now. There's nothing on the kick, which makes sense. But if you really want to, you can click this drop down here. And for example, go with lo-fi. And now you also have the controls for that. So if you, you want to really control how the, the, the lo-fi works, then you can go and just head over to the effects, the insert effects, and you'll see the lo-fi right here and it's controls, but you also get this little map right here that shows you where you are. We started our journey with the kick and we are still there. I can go and select this snare right here on the top and I'll, I will have the effects for that. So if I'll just click this drop down here and get like uh, distortion. If I'll go back to our kit and see what's happening here with this snare, you will see this distortion right here. So I hope this makes sense to you. If you still have any questions, let me know in the comments. I really want to see what kind of things you uh, you think about this and if you have any questions or anything. So th this is pretty nice and very, very simple to use. 
And next we have the patterns. So you'll see the different patterns. Let's have a listen to some of them. And I'll just say that the presets, you, you can see already on the left side, there's a recommendation for BPM. So these patterns will work best at that BPM. It doesn't mean that it will not work at all in other BPMs, but it's really up to you to experiment with that. Right, and we also have some other things that you can do here. For example, we have the speed, so you can half it, you can double it. Uh, we have the input quantization right here. If you're going to, to use this in your, uh, in your DAW, we have the grid division. We have latch if you want to, I don't know, live, just click that and let it play as, uh, uh, I mean, as you change the patterns. And we have the re-triggering, so let's remove those. We also have tightness, swing, and velocities. So all of that, pretty simple stuff. If you want to drag and drop, just, uh, just get that right here and drop it in your dough. I'm not gonna show it right now, but you get the idea. And then, by the way, if you drag, drop that into your session, you can continue and edit and add your own magic to the patterns. Then we have the effects, which uh, we already saw just a bit. So we have the insert effects. We have four insert effects for each of the instruments. And that's really easy stuff. So you can just click the drop down, get something, and you can turn it on and off, whatever works for you. You can experiment with that. And finally, we have the macros, and you can definitely uh, clear those and create your own macros. And so let me show you how that really works. So I'm gonna go into the effects, for example. And let's say that I want to have this distortion controlled by this lo-fi little thing here. So I'm gonna click this little LED right here. It's gonna blink. And now I'm going to just touch this. So now we see the macro assignment and I can set the range, right? So that's what I'm going to do. And that's pretty much uh, it. So now our lo-fi will control the drive. That's how you do it. Simple, right? If you like it, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're thinking I should be subscribing to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Check my channel. And if that's the first time you're here, I got tons of videos for you and I covered all other Play Series members. So let's continue. And I think the very last part of this video will be just to go through some of the presets and the patterns so you can have a kind of a feeling for what's in the box. In the description of this video, there's tons of links. Consider using some of them. There are affiliate links to uh, different places. And if you buy anything, I get a little bit of commission. That is what keeps this channel going. And also, I'm gonna put a link, of course, to this product. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you and bye-bye.